This video reviews proportion and just talks through a way to find equations linking two variables. The first example is about what's called direct proportion. And we're told a statement, which in this case is that y is directly proportional to x squared. That power can change, but in this example we're told it's x squared, and we're given some numbers. An example, when x is 4, y happens to equal 32. And we're asked to find the equation linking x and y. Now this statement here, and this idea of direct proportion, means that in this case, y is equal to some unknown number, which we often refer to as k, times by x squared. So if we know x, if we square it, and times by this unknown number, the answer gives us y. And all we know is that when y is 32, x is 4. So if I put y is 32 and x is 4, there's a square there in the equation, then 32 is this unknown number times by 4 squared, which is 16. So k tells us what to do to get from 16 to 32. Well, k must equal 32 divided by 16, which equals 2. So k is the number linking x squared and y. So I therefore know that y must equal, for any value of x whatsoever, 2 lots of x squared. So, for example, if we're told x is 5, I can find y. 5 squared is 25, times by 2 is 50. And that is the equation linking x and y. In the second example, there's the word inverse. And we're told y is inverse and proportional to x cubed. And again, some values to use to find the equation. Now, inverse just means a subtle variation on this equation. y is still k, but rather than times x squared, or whatever the power is, it's over this expression here. So y is k over or divided by x cubed. We then do the same process. y is 5. We don't know k yet, but x is 2. So 2 cubed. I can work out 2 cubed, which is 8. So 5 equals k over 8. So to find k, in this case I do 5 lots of 8, which just equals 40. Because 40 divided by 8 equals 5. So our number linking y and x cubed, in this case, is 40. So the equation, which I write down at the end, is y equals, I now know k, over x cubed. And for example, if x was 10, 10 cubed is 1,000, so to find y, I'll do 40 divided by 1,000. And these are the two main Want to know direct, where we times, inverse, where we divide.